Hey everyone, Mike Mo here. Today we're going to take a look at the SKG. This is a little neck massager. It's called the Z G7 Pro. G as in go and 7 Pro. And it's this guy right over here. This was sent to me by SKG. This is a neck massager. It's advertised as a smart wearable that massages your neck and helps relieve a bunch of pain. Now they sent me this massage device for me to do a little video on about a month ago. So I pretty much had the availability of using this for any issues that I've had during that period of time. First impressions of this was like, this is just a wild device. What is it gonna do to you? Is it gonna electrocute you? I really had no idea what this was gonna do. It came in a really nice box. Okay, so it's this box right over here and it charges via USB-C. It's very simple. The device was just in here like this. It looks very presentable, looks and feels very high tech, particularly with all these little massage nodules down here. These things right here, these are little massage nodules also that can radiate heat, uh, they pulse, and they're supposed to provide, according to the box, it said that it is a humanoid hand, nine deep shiatsu needing massage that comes out of here. Now, I felt like that kind of fell short for me. I really didn't know what to expect on putting these on, but I will say that what this is, is it feels like a very gentle massage. So if you like a super deep meaning massage, this is not gonna be it for you. However, what did surprise me was that the few times that I actually had felt like I had a little bit of a headache, maybe from staring on a screen a bit much, was not so much the pulsating massage from these little guys on my neck that actually helped. It was actually the um, 630 nanometer optical medical heat that's going on on here, and also the thermostatic hot compress. So by turning those things on and also having a little bit of the pulsating, it makes sense. It's not something that I would want to wear every day for those purposes. For most of my testing, I basically just had it have the vibrating massage. And while it was nice, I didn't feel like it was a deep meeting massage, but it's something that I can casually wear and it doesn't feel like it's going to mess with my day or anything like that. But as far as noticing any major differences when using just the vibrating pulsating mode or the shiatsu massage, I didn't really feel much of anything at all. Um, it was only when I turned on the heat. So the settings on here that I didn't get on very well, I, I wanna say that this is very subtle when you just use the buttons. And this is kind of cool. Let me see if you can hear this. Uh, there's a little switch over here that I can make it silent. And when I turn the switch on to audible, when I press these buttons, it you can hear what the different buttons do. This relax is mode. relax mode. Okay, it's very active light. Mode. Active mode is a little bit more relax movement. Mode. In relieve mode, these are like pre-programmed uh, modes that are in here. But the real way to use this is actually to download the app. The app is called Futureware. And by doing that, you actually unlock the access to all of these modes right over here. So when I was using it, I didn't really know what mode to do, okay? Um, there's all these different modes. There's a little bit of the heat mode. There, there's the, the nanometer thing that blasts right into the back of your neck. Uh, there's different intensity levels for each of the buttons you press. There's kind of like a four-way joystick on here, but again, the best is to download the FutureWare uh, app. And so when you do this, you can set up, oh, I feel the heat already, and it wasn't even on very long. Uh, you can set the different intensities, and I recommend the maximum is level four. It is still very subtle, but definitely a big difference compared to when I first started using this. All right, and in the pulse mode, you can adjust how strong how strong the mode goes up to. So it goes up to level six. Now, again, let me point out that this is very, very subtle. But when you turn the heat up, you definitely feel it. So right now I feel the heat going through the middle and then I feel it going all around my neck. And honestly, I wouldn't turn this on except maybe when it's really cold or also if I have like a tension headache, I felt like this actually worked for that alone. Everything else I didn't really care for. I didn't like the shiatsu massage function. I didn't think it did anything. It's kind of uh, rhythmic, which could be relaxing for some people. It really depends on, on if you like the rhythm or not. And you really have to put these on to realize how that works because it, it, is, it does move all along here and it pulsates all along here in the neck in a, in a different type of frequency. It's not like a dumb frequency where it just goes on, on, on. It actually moves around back there. So you can think of it kind of like the robot fingers that were that <laughs> that they're referring to. Now, 
if we turn on all the maximum settings, you turn on a little bit of vibration, a little bit of pulsating, you get the maximum amount of effort for, uh, for the time that you have this on. And for me to do that using the control panel on here was a little bit difficult. So the app, the app is the best way to go about it. It's got a little bit of timer. The default is 30 minutes, so it'll turn off after 30 minutes. I found that the battery life is actually really good. Throughout the whole period of the month, I think I really only majorly charged it twice. And I've passed this along uh, to various other people to try. Everybody said it's a little bit, um, was it a little bit light? But this one setting on here, I think it's the Moxa setting. It gives some electrical pulses. It feels like electrical pulses going on here. And I think that's the best mode that I have not tried much until I figured out that you use the app on here. And that gives me a, you know, it's light, but I feel it relieving the tension right now. I'm a little bit sick, so I notice a difference. Kind of like when you have the electric pulse massagers going through, but it's not as sharp and it think, I think it's more effective than the pulse massagers. So if you're thinking about getting the ones where you stick on the pads and the pulse massagers, I think this is, does a better job for that. And that's where this is above and beyond what those other electric pulse massagers do by sending electrical currents. This not only does electrical currents, it does vibrating, it does a 630 nanometer heat, and it also does some sort of regular heat. So it does it all at once. Now, this is a mode, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, have my current test subject, which is my wife, try, and uh, she can tell me what she thinks about that. But um, her feedback was that, again, it felt a little bit weak. But now that I have everything maximized, I think I'm gonna get the best results out of it, but I'll probably lose a little bit of battery life. So if you are interested in getting this, this is the only neck massager that I've found that is truly portable, lasts a long time, actually works on the tension headaches and being completely hands-free that I've tested so far. So for that, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a cautious recommend. Uh, it's something that does require you to use the app to get the maximum amount of benefit because I mean, there's all these settings on here and to, in order to get this thing rolling and, and in the settings that you want, you're just gonna have to press a bunch of buttons just to turn everything on. I think turning on everything to the max is the best that you can hope for. And for that, it works, it works. So uh, that's my quick little take on the G7. If you are interested in this product, please check out my link down below. Uh, it will probably be an affiliate link. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, this, I, I'm posting this video without sharing anything or any information with the company. They just said, hey, send it out. The video will be happy and uh, they may give me a link for it. So yeah, check it out. SKG, the app is called Futureware and it might make a good gift for anybody who gets a headache or sits in front of the computer all day long, which is practically everybody. All right, that's it for this video. Please give it a like, subscribe for more and I'll catch you next one. Thank you for watching.